everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something a little different. I am not doing an apartment makeover. I am not doing a home makeover, which is what I seem to be a little bit obsessed with lately, but I've decided to do a room build today and it's kind of for like a um, teenage bedroom and it's pretty cluttered, like every wall is full. There's not really much space left over. So I really wanted to use a lot of the new black wallpaper that comes with the vintage glam package, but I didn't want to do another vintage-y kind of build. So I kind of took some of the new furniture, like I think I used the desk and two of the wallpapers, and I'm not sure if I used anything, oh, the door, um, the door to get into the bedroom possibly oh and Matt okay so there are a few things but this just shows that you don't have to make it like that Marilyn Monroe um, era kind of build like you can bring it into your more modern kind of builds and I really really love that about this like I feel like they put a lot of different colors um, with the furniture to make it so much more usable like a lot of people you know have their specific styles and if you're more um, like in today's day and age for building um, it's nice that they incorporated the kind of colors that we can work with for that while still having the option to kind of take it back in time a bit. So with this room, I kind of wanted it, like I said, it's black and hot pink as you can see and it's for like a teenager girl and I wanted it like a bedroom that's just kind of like a hangout room. Like if, you know, if they have friends over, there's a lot to do in the room. Like we have a lot of seating areas, just comfy spots. And she has her computer there that she has like a really nice a large window that she can look out when she's doing her homework. And then I just made the rest of the bedroom kind of knickknacky. Like, I mean, they're over in the corner. We did like a seating spot with just the two seats and a lamp. And right here, um, what did I put there? What did I, I kept changing things around. I put a closet in, a mirror. Just made it kind of like a teenager dream kind of bedroom. And I think it's cute. It's not my typical kind of build because I kind of stick with more grown-up kind of styles but I really just wanted to do something different because um, when you're actually playing The Sims it's nice to have these kind of rooms just to put in game I mean for your like teen or young adult kind of Sims and I mean maybe you want this for your grown Sim and just change a few things up like you might not want that soccer lamp in there but like and there's like I put a pile of clothes over by the dresser so it's a little bit lived in but it is very I don't know and it's slightly glamorous but I really like this I hope you guys enjoy it too and let me know in the comments below what kind of builds or room makeovers or color kind of schemes you guys would like to see in the future I love reading any and all comments and hopefully I can make that happen um, cause sometimes, you know, people will throw out ideas that I've never even thought about or challenges. I do want to try Urban Sims, Jen from Urban Sims. She did a challenge on her channel. I don't know right off if she was the main creator of the original challenge, but she did one and you have to build like a whole entire house within 10 minutes, like completely furnished, including the outside and everything like that. So I think I might do that next week. I do like doing challenges once in a while. I don't like all of the challenges that I see and I know that they're not really my most popular kind of videos because they're just kind of fun. But I think I might try that next week possibly. So watch for that. Um, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel um, so you don't miss out on any of my future builds. I try to post um, four to five videos per week and I think this week I might have actually posted seven because of the new release. I was just so excited and oh, the problem with me is every time that I build a house or like do a makeover and I film, record and edit it, I have to put it up on YouTube before I can do the next video because I'm limited on storage because um, I think I've mentioned this before. I have a very like basic, um, like the smallest storage computer <laughs> that I could afford at the time. So um, it works really well. I have no issues with that. I just can only do one and upload one at a time. And once I get it on YouTube, I'm like so excited for people to see it that 
I like can't wait and I have to like upload it immediately. <laughs> so I try to not put too many up like um, and just kind of schedule them because and I try to schedule them like I live up up in Canada. <laughs> I live in Canada. So I always schedule them for like 10 o'clock in the morning my time. And I've tried to do it at like one o'clock. Um, just by going by like the times of some of the YouTubers I watch because I'm assuming they know what they're doing because they've been doing it for years and I just can't like I'm so impatient I get so excited for everybody to see what I did even if it's like not that good it's just so exciting because I love doing this and I love sharing like all the different builds and I love watching um, all of these on YouTube too they're just fun like it's a fun game to do and I don't know and so I have a lot of more ideas and bedrooms and theme kind of things that I want to do. So as I said, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy watching these kind of videos and you don't mind my boring long rants that I sometimes kind of do. Usually I kind of do like music over, but I've kind of once in a while I ramble and chat a little bit. So um, also give this a very big thumbs up if you enjoy watching these kind of videos. I'm going to go ahead, let you guys watch the pictures that I took so you can get a little closer in each room, see the little details a little bit closer, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.